So there is definitely a storm moving in and moving in fast. So I think it's time to set up for some time lapse of the sky. Here set up with the camera and the sun starting to come out now. The clouds keep moving around so fast and the sun keeps clearing. I think it's going to be an awesome, awesome evening for photography. I think I'm probably going to have to go out on a little hike or somewhere because it is going to be a phenomenal sunset later for sure if the clouds keep up like this right now. I think it's like probably three or four in the afternoon so we still have a few hours until sunset but hopefully this will, time lapse will kind of show the clouds and how fast they're really moving in here. I mean it's black over there and as you can see behind me it's like almost clear so it's definitely moving in fast here and we'll be able to take some cool pictures later. Also another phenomenon that seems to happen here in Sedona actually quite often is you'll be in complete sun and it will begin raining like it is right now. You can't hear it or see it but it is actually raining. I just got a raindrop on my face. So between pictures of the time lapse I'm actually having to clean the lens with my shirt just to get some of these raindrops off because it keeps raining. I have to clean it again here. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh, it's not pouring, but it's still raining quite a bit, that's for sure. I have found a really cool plant, um, an agave plant here in Sedona. There's plenty of them, but this is like the prettiest one. So I want to try and get some cool pictures of it. So today with all the storms that were going on throughout the day, I think it's going to be just an absolutely spectacular sunset. So I'm headed out to one of my favorite places. I wanted to bring you along and show you kind of what I go through when I take a picture for the sunset. But just take a look at this, just at how beautiful it is out there. Obviously one of the first things I like to do is get into a great vantage point for the sunset. I want to make sure that I'm going to be in a perfect spot where I get a chance to see as much as possible from one area and then I can really decide if that's the place I want to be or if there's some place even better that I want to try and go to instead. So I'm out here now, unbelievably cool sky over there, and it's just cascading a beautiful light all the way through Sedona. As you can see, like I said, the whole city is down here below me. It's going to come from out behind that cloud any second, and it's just going to be phenomenal. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful out right now. I've got my lens on set to about 70 millimeters so I can get something a little bit further out there in the distance. 
and I'm just going to take a few pictures before the sun goes down and then I'm going to come back and do some pictures after the sunset actually occurs. One of the things too about sunset time is your camera is going to see that sun and it's going to think, oh this is a really orange light. That's not natural, that's not normal color. So your camera is going to try and force it to be a really blue color image. So if you go into your white balance and you actually change it to be a cloudy or overcast day setting, it's going to produce that really yellow warm color that's a natural color that you're seeing right now at sunset and it's going to come up with some unbelievable sunset pictures in your camera. So that's what I've done here. I've set my white balance, a nice warm color. Looking out there and taking an image now. Really nice. Now I'm actually going to switch to the longer zoom lens so I can zoom out to some places out there and show you guys just how cool it is. So now I actually have my long lens which goes from 80 to 400 millimeters. Really allows me to get way out there and shoot some pretty phenomenal close-ups. I don't know if you can see an image like that on the screen or not, but that's about what we're looking at right here. I'll also try and shoot some video before the sun goes down. everything that's no way look at this an entire double rainbow forming over here look at this a whole rainbow right there and a second one forming right there this is just absolutely incredible so cool out here tonight so cool to see all these things coming together I wish I was in a cool spot to be able to get that rainbow but oh well we'll just have to deal with getting some awesome sunset pictures over here tonight absolutely one of the coolest nights to be out here and see the full double rainbow see an awesome sunset and just beautiful light in this beautiful city hopefully you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what goes into doing some of my photography it's fast it's furious you got to be out here you got to be ready and you got to just wait for the perfect moment because sure enough it is going to happen just look at this so beautiful so incredible and so thankful to be able to call this place my home bye